guys, what's up? It's your boy Pookie here. Right, today I have got a quality review for you guys today. Now, this is a 3D printer, and this is my first 3D printer, and the lovely guys over at Gearbest sent me this over. And this is going to be a next part to my um, YouTube series where I'm going to be doing a lot of 3D printed projects, and I want some suggestions from you guys on what to actually print. Now this 3D printer is at a pretty decent 3D printer for its price range. Now the price range of this, now it's on sale at the minute, I think it's £120, so that'll probably work out between about, I think it's £150, $160 maybe, you know, I'm not too good on the conversion rates, but there you go, just check it out, I'll leave the link in the description so you can check out where to buy this. Now this 3D printer does come with a heated bed, so if you're printing in ABS, which I am printing, you're going to be wanting a heated bed. One of the slight other modifications I did make to this printer itself, now I got myself a glass sheet because I'm printing in ABS. ABS is predominantly known to uh, warp in, so what I did was just get a thin glass sheet. You can actually buy the ones for the printer on eBay, they're quite cheap, uh, they're relatively, uh, I think they're about $10 or about £6, so you can buy them. I just got a piece of glass. And one of the other things you want to do before you do your prints is make sure that the, the glass has been sprayed with just any old air spray. Now, just get the air spray. And the air spray that I'm using is Inset Extra Hold Air Spray. Now you want to give this a good generous spray and then you want to put it onto your bed and maybe get like a couple of clips or I, I've just been using a couple of pegs as long as they're not um, getting in the way of the frame or you know, the a baby up, up, up uh, basically not obstructing everything anything you're okay and one of the first things I actually printed obviously had to be a drone <laughs> now this is a detail quad cutter now this is a work in progress I do need to print off a another uh, actual airframe for this because there was a bit of a problem at the back where I actually broke the uh, tail of it and I had to glue it on and it's not quite centered so that is a work in progress. I do need to build, uh, sorry, print the cover for the uh, canopy, and then it'll look like a decent quad cutter. But this is um, all in all, I would, you know, for the price range of this 3D printer and the first time I've had a 3D printer. I mean, this does come in kit form, so just be aware of this. It took me realistically, it took me about you know a day. That's just coming, you know, coming back to it, you know, just going on the computer having a look. And all I did was just watch these step by step, and they do get step by step video tutorials with this printer. And but you can just basically just stop and start the video, and you just basically carry on as and when you please. So it did take a day to set up, and one of the other things that you need to do is calibrate the bed. Now there's a setting in the menus called disable stepper, and what that means is you can move the bed left and right and then you level it down to the bed but there's various other videos and tutorials on this so i'll leave a couple of them in the description for you so just in case you you know you want to you do want to level your bed but yeah so what i'm going to do now is i'll just cut to a little bit of video of this printing um, and just let you see what it can actually do and the quality of the prints are actually really nice if you go into a nice fine quality printer i don't know if you can see that guys the camera is absolutely terrible but the print quality is really nice, so I'll let you just see that now, guys. So I don't know if you notice there, guys, I've got a bit of tape holding my print down to the print bed. The reason is, is I had ABS, so that's what I was printing with, and it tends to warp if you don't know how to basically print with it. It's not one of the easiest materials to print with PLA. You have no problems with warping because you can print PLA onto a cold bed and you don't get the warping effects that you do get with ABS but ABS is more stronger and it doesn't break as easy as uh, PLA but considering we're making a drone here this is why I'm using ABS now since I've uh, used the glass plate and printing of hairspray I've had no problems with my prints adhering to the bed yeah, to be honest they are a little bit tricky to get off but if you've got a little bit of like a window scraper or something like that that you scrape windows with uh, like you know to get paint off your windows which is basically a standard blade with a bit of a plastic handle you can actually print the plastic handles for the these there's so much things out there there's a website called thingiverse and it's just a website that is just lot loaded and it's just full of content of what people have designed and you can just basically download the files for free 
put them into Core, which is the software that you use on your computer, and you can just save it to the SD card, put it into your printer, or you can just print directly to the printer itself from your computer. As you can see, I've got a couple of drone parts here. Now, this, these are parts just from an old drone. I thought to myself, yeah, it'll work. Got myself some new solder the other day because I was running out. And all I have to do now is just cut these wires down a little bit, otherwise there'll be too much wire on this drone because it's gone from a bit of a, bit of a big drone down to a smaller drone. So we'll cut the wires down and see what it looks like. So as you can see, it's a really, really nice build. Now I've tried keeping the wires as clean as possible. This is a V-tail, so the, if you notice the motors are on upside down, so the, <laughs> the propellers do spin the opposite way, so you have to swap them over for this configuration. But it's definitely a work in progress, and I just need to print the canopy off of this. So I hope you like this video, guys. If you did like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you do one of these printers, check the description below. And as always, guys, peace out.